So now I'm going to design the condenser. And there's a couple of things that I know right at the start of this design. First of all, I know that the source is going to be a particular size. And that's been given to me in the spec, and so I've entered that here. This is going to be 8 millimeters across here, which is why it's 4 millimeter semi-diameter here. The next thing that I know is that the condenser needs to form an image of that uh, source at the entrance pupil of the condenser. And it also requires the film plane to be at the exit uh, uh, pupil of the condensing optics. And I've got all of that set up here in the merit function. So I have a calculation here that establishes the magnification of the image and these distances here define the location of the image. So that's going to give me a rough image of the, uh, the source here on the entrance pupil of the, the projector. And then I want the exit pupil size to be the same as the object size of the projection lens, which was 21 millimeters. So that puts those two constraints right there. And then finally, I have an optimization merit function built by the optimization wizard, uh, which just says I want the best possible spot size that I can have uh, with some reasonable boundary values on glass and air thicknesses. In a condenser like this, it's not usually important to have a great image here. Uh, so let's just have a, an optimization of this. I've got auto update set so that you can see what's happening as uh, Optic Studio is optimizing this file. I'll hit start and you can see it's going through a number of variants of the design and every time it's doing that the merit function is getting smaller and what this effectively does is it means the design is getting closer and closer to the specification that we have set out in the merit function editor. What we're seeing now is we're getting a design where the lens is, the first lens is very close to this um, object, which is, of course it's fixed by, uh, and it's very powerful, very steeply curved here. There's then a second uh, lens here, and we're forming the exit pupil here. But if you look in the uh, merit function editor, you'll see that although it's, it's close, it's not great. The magnification is out of specification and the pupils are out of specification as well. So as I'm dealing with molded optics, it's relatively easy for me to make A spheres. So I'm just going to allow the conic constant of these surfaces to vary. And I'm going to repeat the optimization, this time without the auto update on, just so it goes faster. And you can see there it really hammers on down. If I exit now, you'll see I'm getting a, a, a magnification that's probably for a projector system is close enough and uh, an exit pupil that is probably close enough. So this is the design of the condenser that I'm going to go on and add to the projector lens in the next video.